Noise and explosion from the eights, but Boat Crew's very steady holding their nerves off the blocks. And we can see the launch there following the racing. It's actually the new stewards boat, the Artemisia. Beautiful launch there following with the umpires and the supporters and the coaches of the crews. But we see there both crews coming towards us as they come past Temple Island. It looks like the German crew just struggling a little bit with their steering, perhaps moving over towards the centre of the course. There is a bit of flow in the river, and typically these crews here on the coast side to us just struggle with that, although I would think with a coxswain it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Yeah, well, Simon Pinzak in the driving seat for München and Ruder Club. It'd be interesting to hear how many times he's actually been down this course. So perhaps not that experienced in navigating that tricky little movement that the, the bank does in association with the river, but seems to have corrected his line now. And I say Münchner have the slight advantage. Yeah, and generally speaking, a slight advantage will help in these tailwind conditions, but of course, it's about how you progress down the course, obviously slightly longer than that 2,000 metre course. So it is about staying composed and we can see the water is a little bouncy there. So it's not easy, these conditions. It is quite tricky and, and I often find deceptively so when looking at this course on television, it looks better than it, than it can be. It's really tough racing out there, really difficult conditions and these crews handling it well so far, but handling it just slightly better at the moment is the crew from Germany closest to us, the Münchner Ruder Club von 1880. So of course London Rowing Club is the B crew. You can see a little look across there uh, from the five seat, that's Matthew Bell. Just taking stock of this crew, he only looked just across so he wouldn't be seeing much at this point because it looks like the German crew has maybe just a fraction of clear water over the crew from London Rowing Club on the right hand side of your screen. Yeah, not much in this and this will probably be a little bit worrying to supporters of Münchner Ruder Club because as you pointed out Sarah, this is the B crew from London. So I actually watched their A crew get knocked out earlier by the City of Oxford. So if the B crew is giving them this much grief, do we feel like they're going to progress any further? Perhaps not, but certainly perhaps a slight advantage at this stage but not an awful lot in it. Yeah, we can see the crew there from Germany, a bit of a steering adjustment there from their cox and their cox, Simon Pinzek, the stroke seat, we saw him, Julian Ritter, 25 years of age, but wow, they're really having some steering issues here, they, they might get flagged from the umpire, they are, they are correcting in time, but um, the German crew really struggling with that steering down the course here, so and just really needs to settle down. Perhaps he's got some uneven pressures in the boat or something going on there that we can't see. He will have to be careful that he doesn't, of course, row in front of the other crew. For his, even if they're in the lead comfortably, they must stay in their own lane. I mean, watching that line that's that's emerging just behind the crew from Munchen and Ruder Club, it, it, it seems like they're just zigzagging. And, and every single time that, that Simon Pinzek in that class can see, touches the rudder it's it's like a, a slight break on the run of the boat so it's not going to help them at all although it looks like you said Sarah they've established a bit of a margin of control of this one certainly got clear water now on the London crew look and it's really tough when a leading crew has clear water in this kind of situation it is really really difficult to come back and we can actually see the Germans now pushing out with that angle to probably three lengths clear of the crew from London so I think it's probably out of reach at this point but certainly I think you want to get to the end of the race and know that you've been to Henley. Even if you've been knocked out on the Wednesday, you've put everything into it, you've put everything on the line. So London will race it all the way down to the line. As we can see there, we ride with the crew from London. Give them a little shout out in the stroke seat. Duncan McClellan, John Kriegsman behind him. W. Feed in the sixth seat. Matthew Bell behind him in the five seat. Sean Martin in four. Ralph Humphrey in three. William Golding in two. And Stuart Harris in bow. The coxswain, Tim Jackson. You can see he's edging his crew on towards his German crew. So they're still going to put themselves out there. 
Thanks, Sarah. We've got an illustrious roster of commentators this week, and I think I'm probably one of the only people who's experienced a Wednesday knockout at Henley, and I can tell you it's still a pleasure to be able to actually compete on this course in front of thousands of appreciative people on the bank, and London will hopefully be enjoying it. But look there, you see the camera angle just showing the the, 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 the direction that Munchen and Ruder Club were taking, and if they want to sort of, you know, they've got control over this race now, but if they want to continue to progress in this competition, they're going to need to sort that out, because it could cause trouble if the crews were closer together. Yes, I would certainly be wanting to see what was happening with the steering there or the pressures or what's causing that because that's, that is unusual to see an eight struggling quite so much. Uh, the flow shouldn't be having any effect on the course at this point. You know, coming around the island, like we said earlier, sometimes crews struggle a little bit with that flow, but certainly at this point on the course, you'd expect a nice straight line, uh, particularly in a coxed boat. But fortunately, they're not suffering much of a challenge at the moment from London so it's not affecting them too much but perhaps later in the week with a tighter racing situation that would be quite stressful as a rower and a coxswain uh, if they're having some steering issues so as you say Tom something that they will want to see to after this race. I'm sure they'll be keen to replicate the efforts of the last German crew to win the Thames Cup which was, which was I think in 2014 Frank Frothe Germania uh, just met up with Nigel Longley earlier this week who's a He's the captain or vice captain there, and he was he was bullish about their efforts this week. But they'll be looking to replicate that, and if they can, that's a historic achievement. But at the moment, definitely in control of this heat of the air tanks. And Both of these crews fairly evenly matched in terms of weight. The German crew averaging about 83 kilos, the London club averaging about 84 kilos. So a pretty evenly matched competition here. But we can see the backs of the Germans there as they come down towards the finishing line. That's Munchen Ruder Club 1980 from Germany. Defeating London Rowing Club B in the Thames Challenge Cup.